many young men who grow up playing basketball hope that one day they can make a living doing what they love. Getting to the NBA usually means that all the early mornings, late nights, and sacrifices paid off. It means that all the friendships and relationships they had to put off were worth it because now they could make playing basketball their full-time job. When a player makes it to the NBA, he or she has the chance to become wealthy and help their families in ways they never thought were possible. These are the six players in NBA history who made the most money. Kobe Bryant was one of the best basketball players ever to play in the NBA. He played for the Los Angeles Lakers for his whole 20-year career. During that time, he helped them win a total of five NBA championships. Two of those five finals MVPs would go to him and he would also win one MVP in his career. And seven assists a game, Kobe Bryant. Kobe became a global icon because he was one of the best players of all time. People all over the world looked up to him. During his career, he was chosen for 18 All-Star games, 15 All-NBA teams, and 12 All-Defensive teams. Bryant didn't play much in his first season out of high school, and he made just over $1 million each of his first three years. By 2000-2001, he was making just over $10 million per season. By 2008-2009, he was making more than $21 million a year. Year. And every season after that, his salary went up until he was making $30 million in 2013-2014. In his last two seasons, 2014-2015 and 2015-2016, Kobe made $23.5 million and $25 million respectively. That's some crazy money! Kevin Garnett was another star right out of high school in the 1990s. During his career, Garnett became one of the best power forwards to ever play the game. He had a huge impact on both sides of the ball. He won the NBA championship in 2008 with the Boston Celtics and was named MVP and Defensive Player of the Year in 2004 with the Timberwolves. He was picked for the All-Star team 15 times, the All-NBA team 9 times, and the All-Defensive team 12 times. In his first three years, Garnett made between $1.62 million and $2.1 million per year on his rookie deal. In his fourth season, he made $14 million. After that, his earnings started to go up. And in 2001-2002, he made $22.4 million. In 2003-2004, when he was the MVP for the Timberwolves, he made upwards of $28 million. From then on, he would be a $20 million player for most of the rest of his career. In 2016 and 2017, Garnett's last two years with Minnesota, he made $8.5 million each year. We can only dream of earning that kind of cash. Russell Westbrook is the only point guard in the NBA who's been fast or won more awards than Curry in the last 10 years. In the 2000s, he became an icon for the Oklahoma City Thunder by becoming the first player since Oscar Robinson in the 1960s to average a triple-double for a season. In 2017, he won the MVP award and broke Robertson's record for the most triple-doubles ever. In his career, he's been named to the All-Star team and the All-NBA team nine times each. He's won two scoring titles and three assist titles, making him one of the best point guards ever. Westbrook oh, he hammers it home. During his first four seasons, he made between $3.49 million and $5 million a year as a rookie. Between 2013 and 2016, he made between $13 million and $16.5 million a year, all with the Thunder. Westbrook started making more than $26 million in 2017, and by 2019, he was making more than $35 million. Westbrook made more than $41 million in each of the last two seasons with the Wizards and the Lakers, and he has a contract with the Lakers that pays him $47.06 million in 2022-2023. I wonder what kind of things he would have bought with that much money. Kevin Durant's one of the best players we've ever seen on offense in the NBA. Durant's made it look easy to score over the past 10 years with the Thunder, Warriors, and Nets. He's 7 feet tall, has good handles, and can score like a wing. He's won four scoring titles, and in 2014, he was named MVP. Durant won two NBA titles and two finals MVP awards with the Warriors, from 2017 to 2019. This made him one of the best players of all time. He's been chosen for 12 All-Star teams and 10 All-NBA teams for a total of 22. Durant's contract with the Thunder started at $4.17 million in his first year, and it went up to $6.05 million in his fourth year. When his contract extension started in the 2012-2013 season, he made between $15 million and $18.9 million between then and the 2014-2015 season. In 2016, 
2016, he got his first $29 million contract. By 2018-2019, it was worth $30 million from 2020 to 2022. He played for the Nets and made more than $37 million each year. In 2021-2022, he made $40 million. He's signed to the Nets through the 2025-2026 season and will start making more than $50 million a year in 2024-2025. Next up, Chris Paul may have been the best leader at the point guard position in the last 15 years. The self-proclaimed point god is one of the best two-way players in basketball. He's helped different teams have some of their best seasons ever. Paul's won five titles for most assists and six titles for most steals. He was also the rookie of the year in 2006. Paul's also been named to the All-Star team 12 times, the All-NBA team 11 times, and the All-Defensive team 9 times. Paul's been in the NBA for 17 years and has made a lot of money there. Over the first four years of his career, his rookie deal paid him between $3.14 million and $4.57 million. Paul made between $14.9 million and $18.66 million a year from 2010 to 2014. In 2015, he signed a deal with the Clippers that paid him $20 million a year. By 2019, he was making over $35 million a year. He made his first $40 million with the Suns in 2021, and he made just over $37 million with them again the next year. Paul's contract with Phoenix ends in 2025, but he'll earn $28.4 million in 2022-2023 and $30 million in each of the last two years of the deal. Do you think that's enough cash to retire with? Lastly, LeBron James is the only NBA player in history to have made more than $400 million from just basketball contracts. He deserves that money because he's one of the best players who's ever been on the court. Good defense. Wade from behind takes it away. Chalmers, Cole, dang! He's won the NBA championship four times, and he's done it with three different teams. He also won Rookie of the Year award and the Most Valuable Player award four times. He got closer and closer to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record for most points scored and eventually passed it. LeBron's mark on the game is almost unmatched in every way. LeBron was going to make a lot of money as soon as he joined the NBA in 2003. In his first four seasons, he made between $4 million and $5.82 million per year. In his next seven seasons, he made between $13 million and $19.06 million per year. When he went back to the Cavaliers in 2015, he got a $20 million contract. Since then, it's gone up every year. In 2017, he signed a $30 million deal with the Cavaliers. In 2022, he signed a $40 million deal with the Lakers. In 2022-2023, he'll make $44.47 million, and in the last two years of his current deal, he'll make over $50 million each year. Such salaries can only be dreamt of by the rest of us. Maybe I should pursue a career in basketball. What do you think?